today I'm going to show you a simple and frugal but very delicious recipe from Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. I absolutely love this cookbook and I really suggest that you find it. Um, I did have a little hard time finding it, um, but I eventually found it on Amazon. It is the paperback 10th edition. With that being said, let's get started. This recipe is three ingredients, optional four ingredients if you want to dip them in chocolate. It is the recipe for peanut butter balls. It's calling for half a cup of peanut butter and three tablespoons of margarine or butter softened. I didn't pre-soften my butter, so I'm going to go ahead and use margarine today. So let me measure out half a cup of peanut butter and three tablespoons of margarine. I'm going to just finish and scrape out what is left in this jar so we can get it gone. Do any of you guys have family that does this? They leave peanut butter in the jar and then go open a new one. Like I don't have spatulas to scrape it out. And they're waiting for somebody else to throw it away because they don't want to get in trouble. For throwing away food. Mm, it wasn't a lot in there, and that's probably a little nitpicky. I think got two tablespoons of peanut butter in that jar. Now, I'm going to scrape in this one because they almost finished this jar. Probably go ahead and get a spoon, it might go faster. There we go. That is about half a cup. And then I want you to mix the margarine and peanut butter together. So there is the peanut butter. Sure am dirty in a lot of dishes for such a simple little recipe. Alright, there's one. There's two. And three. Oh, 
And what are we doing with this? We are stir together peanut butter and margarine. Gradually, gradually add sugar, stirring until combined. And it's going to be one cup of powdered sugar. But we're going to stir this up first. And just get it all fully combined together. These to go together so quick and easy. It this is one of those no fuss, no muss, very quick recipes. I'm just gonna stir it together until I don't see any more margarine streaks. That looks good right there. Okay. One cup of powdered sugar. Stir it together. I'm going to get a wooden spoon. point scrape down my so that's my bowl and I'm gonna go in here with my hands because we're gonna roll these up And you're going to want like a consistency of Play-Doh. Hold on one second. It's 
Sometimes I gotta put a pot holder under my bowl because I go a little crazy with the mixing and kneading. All right, now I'm going to use my cookie scoop. Everything's gonna pop out that I don't look great. I really need to organize these drawers. Ah! Okay. I'm not going to fully fill my cookie scoop. I don't want them that big. But you're just going to take and you're going to roll them. Very simple, very easy. Now, if you want to continue with the whole recipe, you will take some chocolate or white chocolate almond bark, um, your candy coating, melt some down, melt down eight ounces, and you'll dip them in chocolate. Um, I'm not going to do that today because my husband does not like the chocolate peanut butter balls. What do they call them? Buckeye balls? I don't know if those are the same thing or not. Um, but I know they're like a chocolate dipped peanut butter ball. But anyway, my husband does not like that. My child does not like that. So we're not going to do that. But it's really easy. Just um, You would just set them on top of a fork, roll them around in the chocolate, bring them up, and then put them on the thing. Now these are a very simple and easy frugal dessert. Um, margarine, peanut butter, and powdered sugar. And these come together so perfectly. They are a really good combination of, and I'm sorry if you can hear my child in the background. He is having a good old time in his room. Um, these are the perfect combination of sweet and salty. And I know you don't want to eat a whole bunch of them because they're a dessert. They are a dessert. But they do have a little bit of protein from the peanut butter. So they're not totally, totally, totally bad for you. Just kind of. I figure they're a little bit healthier without the chocolate coating, but not much because that's a cup of sugar to half a cup of peanut butter. You get my drift. But I really hope you make these. They're 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 cheap to make. They are tasty. They're just a really good classic snack or dessert. And you can either eat them just like this. Um, the book does recommend letting them sit for about 20 minutes um, just to dry out a little bit and harden up. But honestly, they don't stick to your hands either way. If I remember to do so, and if I can find it again, I have a link where you can go online. And if you can't afford that cookbook, you can go online. And um, it's like an archive website. Um, you can read the whole cookbook online for free. That's how I um, read through it first. And I decided that that's the one I wanted. 
Um, you can get a lot of cookbooks online for free. And it's like going to your local library and checking out a book, except it's just right there on your computer screen. You can't print the recipes out or nothing though, but if you find one that you like, you do it. Go ahead and, you know, the old fashioned way, write it down by hand. This is supposed to make um, 30 something, but I think I've made them twice the size they were supposed to be using my cookie scoop because this is going to give me about, round about 15. A little bit more than 15. And you could, there's no reason you can't double this recipe. I haven't. This is only my second time making these. I made these um, last week and they were such a hit that I was like, okay, my subscribers are going to want to see this one. And mm, I don't want to say um, if you're allergic to nuts, can people that are allergic to nuts eat like the sun butter, the sunflower seed butter? Or is that still considered a nut? I'm not sure, but these would taste really, really good um, if you used the sunflower seed butter. Or it would make them truly a dessert, but you could also probably use cookie butter and make these. Cookie butter balls dipped in chocolate sound really good. I might actually try that one, but oh, it might be too sweet. I don't know about it. What do you guys think? Okay, so where did I leave off? My storage ran out of my phone and I had to delete the last three days worth of videos because I had forgotten to already delete them. I usually do. Um, <laughs> but where did I leave off? Um, cookie butter balls. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if you think that would be a good idea. Um, these are literally delicious. You can eat them as is, like I said, or let them sit for 20 minutes, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I'm going to put them in a Tupperware container um, in a single layer, and then I'm going to layer wax paper and then put some more layers of and alternate with wax paper. And I store them in the refrigerator. They're good for about a week if they last that long. Around here, they don't last that long. So, I know this is a short um, video. It's a really easy recipe. But, try these. You will not be disappointed. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time. Same place.